I mean, you look on a nightly basis, Gabe Kapler likes to shake things up, obviously, but this man's been hitting in the three slot for a long time for the San Francisco Giants. And I went through, I was at the game in New York City Field when he thought he was getting traded and tears started. Tears, yes. Coming down his face. And you were like, wow, this means obviously means a lot to him. You saw the fans really rally around him. And then you kind of lost sight for him. He bounced around a little bit. But when you look at his baseball reference, you could pretty much pencil in double-digit homers, can play all over the ballpark, competitive ABs, hits with two strikes, hammers lefties. Hammers There's lefties. a lot to like about his game. Yes. He's carved out a nice niche for himself in San Francisco, and I wanted to give him some run. He does things a little bit differently at the dish. You talk about Alec Bohm not getting into a complete loaded position. I mean, this guy, he's going to need surgery on his right knee when his career is over. He's grinding <laughs> into that thing so hard. But he has had a really nice season. Pause this. Bring up the first board for me. Weighted runs created plus leader since the start of June. Wow. You would, you would not think that. What? You would not think that because it's not the player that everyone talks about every time. Yeah. But when you start to look at some of the things that he does well, it's rhythm, it's balance. He, stay, he gets to the ball yes. and he stays through the ball. Third lowest K percentage over that span too. We're going to bring up another board here in a second that we're going to get into and talk about the fact he doesn't punch out, does a lot of things good. Take a look at this. And I want you to focus on this lowest ground ball rate, right? So line drives, bullets in the gap, he keeps the ball off the ground. But a lot of those guys punch mm -hmm. relentlessly. Joey Gallo, yeah, he shows up on this board, but he's punching out 42% of the time. Jackson Winsky's up there, 34. Nolan Gorman, Aaron Judge, 27 and a half. Look at Wilmer and Mookie. Holy smokes. But you get here, you get limp in the strike zone. Yeah. When you think about a guy who's not hitting the ball on the ground, he's able to drive the ball to all fields. It's because he stays through the baseball and has limp in the strike zone. I love it. Let's get into the video a little bit. It's an interesting hack. He's choked up. Talk about kids at home. It's so important. Oh, oh, count, hands. pulling his hands in. Ooh. Hits bad pitching, hits good pitching, submariners over the top, just gives you a tough A-B on a nightly basis. Obviously hammers, heaters, but off-speed stuff, he's been on fire with. 2-2 two -two count here in Anaheim, Dominic Leone, got him. Max Fried curveball the other day in truest day game. Took him for a ride. Bring up the board, slug percentage versus non-fastballs. Robert, stay with me. Jordan, Acuna, Bellinger. Look at Wilmer Flores. Wow. He's showing up in a lot of these categories. And when you look at those breaking ball counts and those non-fastball counts, he's pulling those pitches, which tells us that he's not flying open, yeah. stays close, and even with two strikes, the reason he's not striking out is because he hits the fastball the other way with two strikes. Yep. Oh, did you watch last night? Let's get into last night. I want to show him with two strikes throughout the entire season. He's hitting 381 during this stretch against the heater, but he hammers the off speed. And with two strikes, he's got this in his back pocket. Last night, that game was out of reach. Run that back. 10-2. He could give away this A.B. This is why big leaguers are different. They, I, you're not giving away anything. No. 96 down and away. Let me shoot it to right. I'm going two for four, regardless of this W. And I just wanted to go back, because I, I don't remember him being so aggressive getting into that back knee with the Mets, but it's pretty similar. He hasn't deviated much from what he's originally always done. Maybe a little bit taller, not sinking into his lower half run this. Pause. Adjusted his hands. When you when you when you look at the two, it's so important, especially for young kids at home that are watching this. You have to get into a good position to hit. Your rhythm, your balance, all those things are important. But when that ball gets ready to get into the action zone, you got to find a way to get into this launch position so that you're in position to deliver your barrel. And I wanna I wanna kids at home. You see this with the Mets, you see his back foot, you see his back knee. It's almost getting beyond his foot. Once that happens, 
your head starts moving. You want everything to stay inside that back foot. It's staying inside. Once I get this drift, now my head's coming forward, and that's when the ball starts dancing on you a little bit. He's a little more stacked with San Francisco on the inside of that back knee. Run this. That's nice right there. Dropping that Loma back floor is doing things. Show me the two strike and we'll get out. Last board. Highest slug percentage with two strikes. Wilmer Flores, top of the food chain over. Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts, Bellinger, Witt, Acuna. And if you want to comp his season, do we have that last board, Broid? He's basically kind of sneaky Cody Bellinger. And we've been singing Cody Bellinger's praises. He's got him a little bit in average. OPS, a smidge, hard hit percentile. I mean, it's the kind of year he's having. Contact matters. This man can hit. All right. Practicing his swing over here. I, I, I was trying to <laughs> mimic that. That's excellent. Yeah, it's, it I, I love. Solidly. I love when we can give some players under the radar uh, some shine and some love. Yeah. That was excellent. That was excellent.